the, the, the verses, Matthew 22, verses 37, uh, 39. Um, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. So this is, this is Jesus talking to the Pharisees. He's answering the question, uh, what is the greatest commandment? And uh, he says, uh, his response is, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like it, and, and uh, love your neighbor as yourself. And um, I want to start from that place and, and talk about what does it look like. Um, I believe that God is calling us um, to go into a deeper uh, place with him. The, there, there are no boundaries. Um, there's no limits. Age, uh, length of Christian walk, denomination, understanding, natural abilities. Um, God is calling us beyond all of that. He's calling us into greater intimacy. <coughs> He's calling us into a depth of relationship that goes far beyond what we, in our own minds, can expect. Um, all, of, all of the world will teach us certain things, and God says, there's more. Jesus died on the cross so that we could be in relationship with him. Um, and that is a born-again birthright. When Jesus died, he became our sacrifice. And I know I'm telling you this, guys, and, and you, all, you all know this. I get it. Um, but when he became our sacrifice, his death enabled us to um, believe and then become holy and righteous. 1 Corinthians um, 1 verse 30 says, it is because of him that you are in Christ, who has become for us wisdom from God. That is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Jesus died so that we would be enabled to enter into the very presence of God that we could sit with Jesus at the right hand of God. Ephesians 2.6 actually says, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. If we believe then that Jesus Christ, um, that through Jesus Christ, God put us in heaven, with Jesus, then this is our relationship. He has called us um, to, to understand this and to reach for it. God being God, I believe that he hasn't made it particularly difficult for us to do this. In fact, I would say that he's made, made it as simple as he could. All that is required is to believe. Um, and Jesus said, faith is a mustard seed. So all we've got to do is believe with that tiny little bit of faith. And you know what? If you ask for it, he'll even give you more faith. How easy can this be? Um, all, all that's required of us is to believe. Mm. That's it. The problem is, doubt we doubt I, I mean I, I know I do all the time um I doubt sometimes I'm not good enough because of the sin my previous sins my present sins sometimes um we doubt because we're in sickness you know I I, I can't possibly uh be healed or I'm I haven't been healed therefore I, God doesn't love me um, sometimes we doubt because um, maybe we're not smart enough, we're not clever enough to, to be able to read the Bible and study it and know what he says. We doubt, I think, because our stuff is too big. 
Um, well, when I read the Bible, when I read that particular verse, I don't see any disclaimers. I don't see God saying, well, you know, love me with everything, but if you're a bit stinky, I'm sorry, I can't love you. Or if you live in the wrong place, sorry, you, you, you're not to be loved. He said clearly, love the Lord God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Love him. Mm -hmm. Everything is hinged on us loving him. The interesting thing is, of course, God is love. And we can go on a, a, a real um, rabbit hole with what does that look like? God loving us. And we can read John. We can read <clears throat> 1 John. We can read Romans 8. And there's love and God's love and, and he is love is all the way through our Bible. So our Abba, Heavenly Daddy, made us a way through the cross, that we can become his sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. And we can receive every blessing that he has already given us. Yes, of course we're going to doubt. Of course. That's without question, and it's okay. As long as we come back and we keep coming back, to the truth, which is we don't need to do anything. In fact, there's nothing we can do. We, we can't work our way into heaven. Heaven. We can't, we can't be something we're not. He made each and every one of us perfect for our situation. And then he said, I will give you what you need. In fact, I've already given you what you need. All we need to do is believe. He put our reasons and excuses at the foot of the cross. Mm -hmm. He did that. He's already done that. We pick them up. We begin to carry them with us again. We need to leave them at the foot of the cross. Personally, I think that every time I doubt, every time I pick that thing up again, I am personally re-crucifying Christ through my unbelief. And I'm, I'm reminded of the man with the daughter with issues, and, and she, she, he says to Christ, help me. Uh, will you, you can help me if you can. I'm paraphrasing because I didn't actually get this scripture. And Jesus says, of course I'll help you. And the man prays, help my unbelief. I believe, help my unbelief. He, I know that, that, that verse went all over the place, but I'm sure most of you know it and understand what I'm trying to say. The price that was paid for us by Jesus being killed was enough. There's no doubt there. It's biblical, it's truth, there it is. Jesus was enough. There's nothing else we can do. There's no price God is expecting us to pay. Yeah, there might be things that we need to do. There might be things we're drawn to do, we want to do, and they're all good. But the deal is done when we believe. We give our lives to Christ and, and we move from a one place to another it's done that's the starting place of our faith there's no more um and i guess with a, with a couple of minutes i just want to say one more thing about that very first it's it's so interesting to me that god says um uh, jesus says about god that, that loving him is the first and and the most important commandment and then he says 
and the second is like it. Now, we tend to sort of brush over some of this, but I'm going to read it, and the second is like it. Love your neighbour as yourself. And we, we think in our mind that that is telling us to love our neighbour. That's cool. It is telling us that. But did you notice there that it says, love your neighbour as yourself? Love yourself first so that you can love your neighbour. Mm. Now, I believe that God isn't saying, oh, well, if you love yourself a little bit, it'll be fine. Um, he, he isn't saying, you know, that it's okay <coughs> not to love yourself as long as you love him and your neighbour. Loving ourselves is second to loving God. It's just under our love for him. And then the love for our neighbour is next. Mm. So I, I know that I've been in positions in the past where I've looked at myself and, and I, haven't, I haven't loved myself very well. Well, that's okay, because God will even give me the love for myself. As long as I love him, he will show me how to love myself. And then I'll love my neighbour. And of course, what he actually saying there is only love the nice ones. No, he's not. He's not saying that. Your neighbour is the person next to you. And what that means is everyone else. That's how I take that. My neighbour is everyone. Oh, no, it's only believers. No, it doesn't say that. It's only people in, in the country. That, no, it doesn't say that. It's only the people I like. No, it doesn't say that. It says your neighbour, which is everyone. Love your neighbour as yourself. If you have problems loving yourself, you're not going to love your neighbour. But how many of us uh, find it quite easy to love others, but we don't really love ourselves very well? I can love some, but the truth is it says you can only love your neighbour as much as you love yourself. So um, I hope this hasn't been too, <laughs> too full of condemnation. But uh, what, in closing, I guess what I want to say is everything's done. It's all finished. As Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. We're done. All we have to do is believe as a mustard seed and follow his love. God is love. He is in us. He's around us. We are in him. He is in us, as John says. All we have to do is love. That's it. Follow the lead. Yeah, we doubt. That's fine. Follow his lead. Follow the path of love. 